Hey guys, Boston, Massachusetts is checking in. How y'all doing? I hope everyone is well. I'm just recovering from my, you know, operation, guys. And please don't walk out here, people. Thank Continue you. on Greeno Boulevard for one mile. Well, um, I'm going to do this um, video driving with my GPS. I'm on doing a run right now. But, you know, I want to talk about it, guys. I want to talk about... Um, Meek Mills signing to Rock Nation, Jay-Z's label, and, um, you know, collaborating with them now. And, you know, we had to see this in the making because just how he was conducting himself and, um, you know, like, oh, you always seen a lot of pics with Meek Mill and um, Jay-Z lately. You know, they say... Um, Rick Ross is not mad. He's like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, he signed Meek Mills first. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm just like, wow. So, I was listening to Uncensored Hip Hop. And they were saying how Meek is going to graduate into the $200 million mark now. You understand? Yeah. I can tell you one thing. Yes, he is. He's going to graduate into the 200 mark, 200 million. In a million quarter mile, slight left onto Jerry's mark. Landing Road. But expect to be seeing, expect to see Meek Mill wearing dresses and purses. And you know, just doing all of this odd behavior. You understand? Because you know there's levels to the bevels. Slight left onto Jerry's Landing Road. Some of these Negroes. They don't care. They want to, um, they want their money. They in it for the fame. They say the money. In 1,000 feet, continue straight to stay on Jerry's Landing Road. They say the money too, but you know what? After a certain amount of millions, a nigga retire. But these niggas can't seem to retire. Jay-Z, like, he's still rich. I don't believe it. He's a billion, he has a billion dollars. I don't believe it, guys. Because he's going around signing and stealing signing these artists and stealing these continue artists. straight to stay on jerry's landing road artists merchandise so if you a billion dollars get out the game nigga because we don't see bill gates who's a billion dollars still out here virgin records we don't see them still out here you understand because when you once you put in your work and you make your money you retire don't believe shit these niggas say guys at this point i'm so sick and tired of of um Hip hop culture, hip hop entertainment. I feel like we allow everyone to come in and pollute the hip hop genre of music. You can't go in any other music genre of music and see so many diverse artists, but you can do it with hip hop. Give everything to the niggas. There's no regulations on our music culture. Like they got rid of Nas X out the country culture he was one black man i heard um michelle k said she wanted to do country music use the right lane to stay on jerry's landing I road then sharp right onto mount auburn street i heard um a few black people said that they wanted to do um music but of course they were stopped okay like all of these negroes are stopped they try to Get into other genres of music. Let me get over. I can't stand ignorant drivers. Because, you know, they see my blinkers on. They see I want to get over and shit. And they playing these damn games. Excuse me, guys, for cursing. You know, so, basically. Continue on Mount Auburn Street for half a mile. I hate when, you know, how di diluted and polluted our music genre has become. It's no such thing as hip-hop anymore. I don't even know what that is anymore, guys. To be quite honest, I'm giving up on entertainment. I feel like you cannot infiltrate anybody else's genre of music. I don't see the blacks going, you know, in infiltrating reggae music. And we have a lot of foreign foreigners that do music. For instance, Meg Thee Stallion, she's Haitian. Cardi B, she's Trinidadian and Dominican. Okay, um, Bad Barbie or Bad Baby. 
You know, she's white. You understand? Eminem, he's white. All of these people, even you got the Chinese rappers in, involved in this. All of these people infiltrate the hip hop culture. When in 1,000 feet, turn left onto Ash Street. Our music was basically came from the struggle. The struggle of living in the ghettos. Half of these people don't even have a struggle. You understand? But they're quick to use our music to make money. We have made every other culture rich except the black culture. At this point, there's no such thing as hip hop anymore. There's no such thing as hip hop anymore. This is a new genre of music. Hip hop stopped, I will say, when Eminem, they allowed Eminem to um, infiltrate BET. You understand? Um, even when they tried to bring in Vanilla Turn Ice. left onto Ash Street. Okay? That's when hip hop stopped. All right? It's so sad because my daughter, who is 24 years old. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Garden Street. Talks about Eminem being the GOAT, the rap god, the illest in um, rap. I was like, no, sir. That's not true. Because you have to, you're dismissing everybody who came before him. You have to listen to every person's music. Whoever made music out here to even make a statement like that. So I'm like, you know what? Uh-uh. Today's rules are no rules. You understand? You could do whatever you want. You could say whatever you want. You could be whomever you want. You understand? But go, you be a black man trying to get up in some of these businesses, not gonna happen. It's just not going to happen. I'm older now. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty much fading out all the music stuff. Turn right onto Garden Street. You understand? But for the generations to come, what hip hop's gonna represent is weird old shit. Not even hip hop. Like they have made our genre of music really literally a circus. If you 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 don't have to go to the circus no more. You can watch it right on television. You can watch it right on these these award shows. And BET too. Their ass sold out too because Viacom is behind them. Remember, we thought BET was the first. Black In 1,000 feet, use the left lane to turn left onto Massachusetts Avenue, network, Peabody Street. Black owned network. Well, you know what? Viacom owns them. So, how can they, we ever have ownership to anything? I'm so tired of the lies out here in this world. You understand? It sucks. And, you know, I think that people is just doing too much with our culture and we're not involved and how did that become so they got our children mixed up and confused use the left lane to turn left onto massachusetts avenue peabody street then use the middle lane to turn slightly right onto cambridge street they have our children thinking that we they can wear dresses and mess with men and be gay and boys thinking they're girls and girls thinking that they're boys and you know I mean it's 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 just buffoonery at this point. It's buffoonery at this point. You can't even study a real lyric in hip hop. What does that mean? There's no more metaphors. You understand? Like what in the hell? Happened to our music in just a short period of time, a good 30 years. You understand? It's disgusting, guys. You understand? Use the middle lane to turn slightly right onto Cambridge Street, Peabody Street. I cannot stand these people, guys. And I don't like what they did to our music. It's disgusting. 
So I said all of that to say this. Keep left to continue on Cambridge Street. Good luck, all of you new listeners. In a quarter mile, who, turn left onto Hovey Avenue. Who have no, no sense of pride. Who just want to twerk and get high and think that doing everything you want under the sun is okay. Good luck unto you. Because you're going to need it when the end of that bullshit ends. And that's all I'm saying, guys. Peace.